Happy birthday, dear friend. Happy birthday to you. Thank you. This is a special birthday for both of us. Wasn't Puffy interested in, in working with you also? Yeah, Puff, I was running around with Puff uh, for a minute, but we was just uh, we was just partying, man. Puff liked to party. Neil Puff became very close over the years. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he called you like his guardian angel and so on. Yeah. I mean, we was we was doing a lot of business together. You know what I'm saying? We were doing a lot of business together. And, and you know, he was, he was somebody that was making money without rap. It seems like the situation involving Diddy has got a lot of famous rappers really worried. They're afraid that videos of them hanging out or partying with Diddy might end up online for everyone to see. There's a lot of talk going around about French Montana and the game being especially nervous because apparently Diddy has multiple videos with them. These two were close friends with Diddy for a long time, always around each other and receiving expensive gifts from him. People are saying Diddy had a special connection with French and the game. You can imagine how stressed they must be right now, wondering what might come out from those times they spent with Diddy. It's like, things are getting really intense, and it's making everyone uncomfortable. It's like they're worried about what might come out next, especially considering the kind of stuff Diddy was into back then. I like it real, real dirty and like it hard. Pause. <laughs> that was a crazy one. What am I? What am I? Let's talk about French Montana, rumored to be one of Diddy's close partners. French had a tough upbringing, his dad left the family, so he had to support his mom and siblings. Originally from Casablanca, Morocco, his family moved to New York when he was 13, settling in the South Bronx. But then, a few years later, his dad left again, leaving French's mom to handle everything with another baby on the way. Seeing his mom struggle, French knew he had to help out. He started his career battling in rap competitions as Young French, selling his music CDs on the streets. In 2007, he released his first mixtape, catching Diddy's attention. Diddy wasted no time signing him to Bad Boy Records, promising big things for his music career. As French Montana focused on his music career in the studio, Diddy allegedly had him working on something else. Soon after, there were rumors flying around that French might have become Diddy's special friend. These rumors intensified when a video went viral showing French sitting shirtless at a table while Diddy sang happy birthday to him. It seemed odd that it was a joint birthday celebration for both of them. This wasn't the first time Diddy had sung happy birthday to rappers, like in the Drink Champs interview with Fabulous. Happy birthday to you. Woo! Happy birthday to you. Woo! Happy birthday to Fabulous. <laughs> <laughs> After the controversial happy birthday video, another photo surfaced recently, showing Diddy and French hanging out with their crew on a boat in Miami. If you zoom in, Diddy and French appear to be cuddled up like they're spooning. 50 Cent couldn't resist getting involved, posting the photo on his Instagram with the caption questioning what's going on in the picture. Later, when 50 shared a shirtless selfie, a fan commented suggesting he should F French Montana. 50 fired back, denying any involvement, stating he's not into that kind of thing and questioning why they would think he's like Puffy Diddy. It's not just French who's linked to Diddy's rumored romantic interests. The game is also in the mix, admitting openly that he let Diddy take him shopping for two years without collaborating musically. The game was one of the first rappers to speak out about hidden truths in the industry. In 2011, on Vlad TV, he addressed the issue of rappers hiding their true selves, expressing concern about deception and potential health risks to the women involved. And so that in the club, real scary, you know what I'm saying? So we got to get into, you know, get into the seriousness of it. And it's just not fair to, you know, other people. And then because that girl that you might be fooling might leave you and go find another dude who ain't gay, give him the disease and he go cheats on her. And so it's a, you know, it's an ongoing thing, man. So it ain't cool to be in a closet. So if you gay, just say you gay, man. Be gay and be proud. When asked if he ever collaborated with a gay rapper without knowing it, Game mentioned he had worked with someone who was going to great lengths to conceal their true identity. You've worked with a, with a gay rapper. Yeah, man. And, and gay, not being just full out gay, but hiding it, trying to pretend like he, you know, loves girls and lived the rap lifestyle, but really, he's a man fan. Now, many people are connecting the dots and suspecting that the game was referring to none other than Diddy. This speculation arises because the game recently shared details about how he spent about two years letting Diddy treat him. The game got serious about his music career around 2001 and collaborated with his mentor, Big Brother Fat 100, on his first mixtape. When Diddy got hold of this mixtape, 
the game was hopeful that Diddy might sign him to Bad Boy Records. However, on Drink Champs, the game accidentally revealed that for two whole years, all he and Diddy did was travel and Diddy kept showering him with expensive gifts like watches and chains. I started kicking it with Diddy, right? I ran around with Diddy for two years, uh, damn near. Um, and this Diddy, we never went to the studio one time, but he was like, yo, I your demo, that you know, bad boy, bad boy, but hey, playboy, hey, 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 here go watch, playboy, here go chain, playboy. I'm like, yo, we ever going rap? He was like, nah, nah. Hey, yo, with the jet leave, the jet leave at five. We going to Miami, Playboy. We going to, you know what I'm saying? We going to New York. We, we in ATL this weekend, Playboy. Pop out, pop out. And I was going everywhere with Diddy. And then one day, Diddy, we, me and Diddy was smoking. He was like, you know what? Like he, like he was really about to just give me some major game. Now there's talk on the street suggesting that the game's close friendship with Diddy might be one of the reasons for the falling out between the game and his mentor, Big Brother Faze. Big Faze dropped a hint on Instagram implying that perhaps there was more going on between Game and Diddy than just shopping trips. He posted a photo of Diddy hugging Game from behind, captioning it with, maybe it wasn't my street credibility. Some thought Big Faze was just jealous of Game's success, but then Game appeared on Vlad TV shortly after the speculation about Diddy's shady dealings surfaced. Once again, Game confirmed spending two solid years hanging out with Diddy without making any music. The surprising part, he revealed that all they did was party and guess where? In Atlanta of all places. Wasn't Puffy interested in, in working with you also? Yeah, Puff, I was running around with Puff uh, for a minute, but we was just uh, we was just partying, man. Puff liked to party. Um, so that's basically all we did. I think I think the whole the few times I was running around with D-Mac and Puff, uh, we just did a bunch of partying. We might have went to the studio once or twice, but I don't think I didn't get to record nothing. I was just, you know. Okay, but I mean Puffy was a huge deal back then. Still a huge deal. Yeah, I mean, he's still a huge deal, but he's not doing music anymore, right. is what I'm saying. Back then, Bad Boy was on fire, mm -hmm. and he's running around with you, and you know, Puffy's a busy guy. I was running around with him. Yeah. You were running around with him. Right. Was he talking about signing you, or, or what exactly happened? Nah, P Puff was, he wanted to sign me. He just, you know, he was moving around. Like, he had the uh, restaurant Justin's mm -hmm. in Atlanta, so we was in and out of that. Um, a lot of parties in Atlanta uh, with him and uh, V and you know big wolf and you know fab and jeezy was just you know i mean fab was already on jeezy was coming uh you know coming up coming to age but um we just we just party once again the game didn't provide any clarity on why he spent so much time with diddy when it was clear diddy wasn't interested in making music moves with him now here's the latest scoop apparently the feds seized a bunch of tapes from diddy's mansions during raids Rumor has it that French, Game, and other rappers are starting to worry because one of those tapes could have their names on it. Fans are speculating that Diddy might have a long list of victims, but French and Game might not be among them because they willingly embrace that lifestyle. Some fans express indifference towards French, questioning his relevance in the industry. Others suggest that both French and Game's rise to fame might be attributed to connections rather than talent. Regarding the game, one fan remarked that only a former male stripper would follow a man around the world partying and letting him shop for him. The streets might be quiet, but these rumors are loud. What do you think about the wild rumors surrounding French and game cozying up to Diddy? Share your thoughts in the comments below, and don't forget to stay tuned for the next video.